How's it going? It's JT. I want to talk to you about this cool app that I just found. It's called Buffer. It's a great app for social media management and it helps me uh, immensely, especially for free. Now let me turn back social media management. What does that mean? Oh, I have a blog and I on for my blog, I have a, I have a Facebook page, I have a Twitter account, I have an Instagram account. I have a Tumblr account. If I want to push out content from my blog, that can be done directly from the blog, from the WordPress. If I want to make statuses because being more active on people's timelines gets you more attention and more publicity, then I have options. I can go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Google Plus, and I can divvy out messages on each platform, or I can use a web app for social media management, which is what we have here, Buffer. You can see they, they, they handle Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and Instagram. This is really cool. I use it right now only for Facebook and Twitter because that's all I, all I need, and Instagram even though I barely use it. So showing you everything that they have, these are all the options they have on the free subscription, not the awesome, which I'll talk about in a bit. Leave that up there. So I'll go to my dashboard. And right now you're looking at my, you're looking at my dashboard for my Facebook page. Now on the side of you have my, Facebook and Twitter. Now here you have a queue. For here I can type something in. Let's say buffer is awesome. All right, so I have the options. I can post it from Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. If I had an image, then I would be able to. As you can see, I need an image or a video to do that. But I can send that only on Facebook, I can add it to a queue and I can share it next in regards to the queue with a schedule here, which I'll talk about in a, in a minute. I can share it right now or I can actually schedule it for a specific time. That's pretty awesome, especially for free. What I could also do is do it for Facebook and Twitter, which is my default. I could say buffer is awesome. Let's say I've already sent a message or mentioned Twitter, mentioned buffer on Twitter. Well, it shows up to make sure I'm not typing anything in wrong. And I know that that's good. I can add it to my queue. Save, it's in the queue. Get rid of this, I can scroll down, it's here. It's set to show at 5.37 p.m. today on Facebook and on my Twitter, 16.57. It's different times. So let me get, keep going for review. This would be if I had team members and let's say if someone was putting something up, someone needed to check it, especially for a, a, a business, some, some type of business where you want to make sure that it's a, a more eyes get on it. That's that's good for that. The content bots is a way of seeing feeds from that particular account. So if I want to see the Facebook pages that I'm following, then I can have that here if I upgrade it to awesome. And you see a nice little preview of what that would look like if I weren't cheap. <laughs> Creating images with Pablo. I'll pull this up for a minute. This is this is good for making quick images with motivational sayings in it. So I can come in here and say, buffer is great. Uh, I've already had my crappy looking, but nonetheless, logo up here. Oh, um, social, what shows up? A lot of stuff, beer. Put this up here. I can play around with some filters, choose what the size, the way it looks, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook slash Twitter, share and download, 
and from there I can shit send it straight to one of my social media accounts or I can send it to buffer or download it it's pretty cool just got finished playing with it and made one and afterwards you, you choose what you want to say for each post and what you want to put in the queue all right so that's that slide and they're the same on each one for Facebook Twitter and Instagram moving on to analytics this is a simple way of seeing what's going on with these accounts what's going on with these posts I recently took off analysis for my postings so even though that's not going to count for much that's that you have an option once I get into that but here you see what comments likes uh, who clicked on it how many people actually saw it who shared it and that goes down most popular can't do that sorry uh, can't do that either nope put it for the business trial going into analysis this will just give you a more broad view as you can see you will be having some good graphs to visualize what's going on uh, the same information pretty similar to that's pretty similar to Facebook analytics their their graphics it's pretty set up pretty similar to that insights the same way just gives you the information and a different visualization now I went over this this my content saying that I can queue it send it into a queue or share it now and they're set up to send at specific times but that is taken into account with the schedule so right now I'm set up to post five times every day at 7 9 ish 11 ish 11 uh, 17 ish 21 ish Monday through Sunday and I can click around back and forth and say all right well I'm not gonna post anything on Tuesday I can also click an option where it does some cool analytic stuff and looks to see, figure out what would be the best times to post to Facebook for me. I get to choose my time zone and this helps automate a lot of things. Keep in mind this is for free. You get to do that. You get the auto schedule for free which is awesome. Uh, settings. You have the option for link shortening which helps if you want to do some type of click more click tracking. Uh, externally so you got uh, buff bit j.mp you have the option for Google Analytics campaign tracking I don't do that I don't care much for that then you have the team members spot where if I had the business plan I had team members I could have more people in there to track certain things uh, content and review reconnect is if for some reason there's an issue with that account on buffer between the social media account and empty queue it just empties everything that's queued into the in the content remove is simply remove it and as I said it's the exact same thing on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram now for Instagram I, I will say this if you want to send something on Instagram, it has to be from your a mobile device. At least that's the only way I've been able to do it. So what happens is I say I want to share a photo on Instagram through Buffer, Twitter, and Facebook. Well, what's going to happen is I'm going to have to have Instagram and Buffer con connected on my phone. And it's going to send that notification to my phone. And from there, Buffer would tell me, hey, you got something you want to post. Is this you? Are you sure that this is you? So it would ask me, are you sure this is Go Love Lively? Make sure. Yes, I'm sure. And then it would take me to a page and say, well, what last minute changes would you like to do to this before you push this over from Buffer into Instagram? You say nothing. Uh, you can copy and paste your uh, whatever text you had, whatever you typed in and then you post it from there so keep that in mind as of right now there is no posting to Instagram from your desktop it's, it's gonna have to come from your mobile still now 
I wanted to talk about that because it's, it's just really cool for free. I haven't, I haven't come across a social media management tool that will let you auto schedule for free. And that's saying something. So this is Buffer. They send out a lot of cool emails also with cool little GIFs, uh, GIFs, whatever. They're, they're, they're pretty active. And you have questions, they're, they're quick to answer and try to help you out. I enjoy using it. It does everything I need for free. I don't need much of anything else. All everything else is pretty, it, it's, cool and all but I, I don't need anything else so this is what I'm using and this is what I expect to be using for quite a long time and I'm suggesting it to many people anyone bloggers anyone small businesses if you just need if you need something to get you started and help you get a good understanding of social media management and dealing with things you know, I think buffer would be good for that like I said even though you uh, you, if you if you want to track much of what's going on, you'll have to go to that page, you know, on the free for the free account. But pushing the content out there, you can do that easily here, and you can go up to ten posts on each account at a time. So the queue will go up to ten, and that's why I push my schedule out so much. That way, I don't have to have to worry about getting hitting the cap because once you hit the cap the only option is to share now so if I my queue was all already capped out the only option would be to well, share now but uh yeah I wanted to get that information out there share this cool app buffer buffer.com check it out Leave some comments if you had any other questions, anything I missed out, glanced over, something you think I should have covered a little more of. Somehow I completely forgot about the other tab I had open talking about the prices. 10 bucks a month or 102 bucks a year. That is not bad. For those extra features, it is not bad. Depending on what you're trying to do, you may or may not need to pay, as I've said, I don't have a reason to I don't I don't I don't need those extra features all I need is to push content out there so I have what I need but for those extra features if you need to do especially for doing marketing with and understanding your audience I don't think that's a bad price so 10 bucks a month 100 bucks a year for a bunch of cool extra features it's kind of hard to say there's much much negative about that depending on who you are and what you need again it's JT go live lively